What's going on guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be doing a video on using my hat press to do a, a sleeve print i got questions about what different prints i could do with the hat press um you could do sleeves there if they're short sleeves even long sleeves if it's just a small enough print it's the biggest size it's the bottom plat in here so um you could do neck labels you could do even left chest prints um anything small and as big as this so I'm actually gonna set up the camera onto the hat heat press and I'm gonna use Transfer Express uh, flag. I got a bunch of these flags. That's why I'm always using these. Uh, I'm gonna use Transfer Express uh, goof proof and I'm gonna press uh, the flag onto the sleeve of this short sleeve shirt. So let me get the camera set up. Okay, so I got my press set up. Like I said, I'm gonna do the right sleeve on this one. All I'm gonna do is uh, 360 to 370 uh, for three to five seconds, medium to firm pressure, and it's a hot peel. But what I'm doing on this, because the hat press and also people have asked me that before, yes, you do have to turn up this hat press depending on this. This is my press, not everybody's press, but I have to turn up my press for um, different type of transfers with this hat press because it's generic. Use your temp gun everything like that. Um, I have it up to 377 for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna line this up here. I'm gonna line it up with this seam from the shirt to center it. Let me get it. They send you the directions with it. Everything's right there. This is from Transfer Express. Let's get my temp gun. Still gonna check it. Okay. We're right at about 380. So I'm gonna line this up here. I'm gonna do everything I would on the press. I'm gonna go about an inch up from this seam down here. Make sure it's centered up. So I'll pull it up to here. And then I'll just pull it back. up there it might take a little bit longer with a hat press but it still does the same thing still the same concept of a regular press okay. lint roll it first lint roll to give it a pre-press five about five seconds for the pre-press all right make sure everything's lined up here like i said these are hot peel good to go There you go, cut some of it off, but. That's my bad. There you go. It's a distressed flag printed on the side of the sleeve. Just as easy as that, using a hat press. All right guys, so that was just a quick video to answer some of the questions. Yes, you could use a hat press. For a smaller print so if you wanted to start off cheaper and get a hat press so you could do left chest logos sleeve prints neck labels even the backs of the shirts on the neck here i'd say if you want to try it out go with a heat press, a hat heat press 
if you want to keep it cheap. So there you go. That was done on the hat press. And that's to that answer all the questions asked me if that's possible. So now you got, I got a full shirt. I already had this done for my, my uh, I believe my Amazon press. And then this one's done, the Amazon press also on the side, right down the center. So if you guys would, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to keep coming out with some more of this t-shirt content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace. Thank you.